Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about um, Nissan uh, and French Connection. So, Nissan became the latest Japanese company to put the boot into British manufacturing as it announced that it will cease production of its Infinity cars in Sunderland. In the grand scheme of things, we are talking about 200 jobs that are going to be affected in a factory that employs 7,000 workers. But the fact that it follows Honda's recent announcement about Swindon and Jaguar Land Rover's announcement that it is cutting 10% of its workforce, you would think that Nissan workers will be feeling very nervous at the moment. Infinity cars just haven't been selling at all well in Europe, and so Nissan said that it will concentrate on markets where it is popular, so America and China. I don't think that this is in itself a disaster for British manufacturing, but it will definitely worsen sentiment and give other wavering manufacturers an easy excuse to reduce or cut UK production. The second thing I wanted to talk about today was troubled clothing retailer French Connection. Its 73-year-old founder, Stephen Marx, is trying to offload his 42% stake in the company. So the fact that it announced its first profit in seven years will certainly not damage his cause. The company is a minor force on the high street compared to its 90s heyday, where its infamous FC UK logo was everywhere, and it has since been overtaken by the likes of Zara and H&M. Although this is a bit of good news for the troubled company, it will take a very brave buyer to take it on in the current economic circumstances. Still, I think that it, it has some value and could do with a massive overhaul. Another one for Mike Ashley, perhaps. Anyway, other than that, in today's edition of Watson's Daily, I talk about the Brexit latest, VW's electric dreams, Pendragon's focus on the second-hand market, Mothercare's disposal of early learning centre, and an American retailer cutting its gun lineup. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes, so please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.